This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by the all new G Flex 2 from LG. Life's good. What's up, everyone? John Rittinger from Techno Buffalo here, and we are at LG's 2015 CES press conference. We announced a ton of new stuff from TVs to washing machines to the all new G Flex 2. We'll go ahead and recap everything that you might have missed. To start the conference out, Dr. Scott on to the stage talked about their slogan first, innovation for a better life and what that was going to mean. And they jumped right into the good stuff, uh, which started with TVs. It, it was last year that LG announced they were gonna start using WebOS into television sets and this year we are seeing the evolution of that. So WebOS is still in LG's TV sets, but now it's getting way better, way faster with a ton more improvements. So now the platform is twice as fast. It's got support for 4K streaming. It's gonna boot up and be ready to use in about two seconds. You can customize the bar at the bottom to put your favorite channels now. And overall, just a faster, more enjoyable experience for those of you that are looking to pick up a new LG TV set. And then they talked a ton about their OLED lineup. Uh, it stands for Organic Light Emitting Diodes, uh, and it's a new display technology that's being used. What's cool about uh, OLED is that each pixel can turn itself on or off. When it's off, you can get true black, so you have to rely on something like LCD technology which uses sort of backlighting. Uh, so you never get that true black, because so your picture is gonna look way, way, way more vibrant. Uh, and LG is running the gamut on sizes and features uh, with their new OLED lineup. So they're unveiling seven new sets, ranging from 55 to 77 inches, all of which are going to be 4K. Uh, the 77 inch model though has a few tricks up its sleeve. It is flexible. So it can either bend to give you that curved experience or flatten out depending on what you want with just a click of a button. So that's kind of neat. Uh, we saw that debuted last year and now it's sort of reaching out to mass market consumers. So next, the chief streaming officer of Netflix came out to say, of course, not only that 4K streaming is now available, but soon you're gonna have HDR streaming available, high dynamic range, you'll get just really cool pictures. They were highlighted by saying uh, their new Netflix series, Marco Polo, looks absolutely gorgeous. Well, it's gonna look like an actual TV set, it's kinda yet to be seen, but the demonstration they showed at least made it look really nice. And then they got to the washing machines, and I know you guys might not be so excited about washing machines, but they did some kind of cool stuff. They got a new twin wash machine, uh, which is a tiny little washing machine that sits on the pedestal below a regular one, so you can do two loads if you want to do you know, your main wash on the top, and then maybe wash your naughty bits down below. I got the ability to do that, and it'll work with any existing uh, LG washing machine, which is kind of cool. And last, but definitely not least, they got to what I was most excited about, and that is the G Flex 2. I love the original G Flex 1 when it was announced last year, and now it's got a ton of new upgrades. So let me jump right in and tell you what you can expect. So the screen is now 5.5 inches. One of my knocks on the last gen was 720p screen. That has been rectified. It is now a 1080p screen, and it's using a plastic OLED screen, so it should look really nice. Uh, it's also carrying over some of the great features that we liked with the LG G3. It's got optical image stabilization, it's got their laser autofocus, uh, all paired with that 13 megapixel camera. It's gonna live on the back. And of course, speaking of the back, it also has uh, all the buttons on the back, so your volume up and down and your power and lock. The G Flex 2 was really one of the first of the next generation of super phones. Uh, it's being powered by the new Snapdragon 810, which is 64 bit and octa core. This thing is an absolute screamer. Depending on what region you're gonna live in, uh, it'll come with either two or three gigs of RAM. Uh, one of the crazier things I've heard on the phone, of course it supports micro SD now, uh, but it can support as micro SD cards up to two terabytes, which as far as I know don't even exist yet, but when they do, you could just have a stupid amount of storage on your phone. Uh, LG's also trying to get the latest version of Android on the device, so it'll ship uh, with Android 5.0 Lollipop right out of the box, so you get all the great features uh, that Lollipop has to offer. Uh, the phone is now up to 30% more durable. The glass is treated by a proprietary glass covering that LG made themselves uh, to make it super strong. Uh, the healing back that we saw with the first one is here, but now it's way improved. Uh, it's gonna heal itself in seconds and not minutes. And healing itself means if you get little scratches, put a pocket with your keys, and you sort of put a little bit of heat on it. Uh, that scratch is going to almost disappear. It's just a really cool thing uh, to have on a phone. Of course, it still has that same flexible screen uh, it sort of has a bit of a curve to it, as you'd expect with a phone called the G Flex. You put it in your back pocket, you can bend the phone a little bit uh, if you need to. And the whole idea was, before we started getting smartphones, regular analog phones had a curve. Uh, we sort of lost that as screens got bigger and flatter and smartphones came to exist. LG's trying to bring that back so you get a more ergonomic feel, not only when you're holding the phone, uh, but also when it's up to your ear. Uh, it's also got some new quick charge technology in that can allow you to go from zero to 50% in about 40 minutes. 
It's got a 3,000 milliamp non-removable battery, so you should be able to get plenty of juice out of it. Uh, this is really, again, the first of the next generation of super phones. Uh, from the processor to the RAM to shipping with Lollipop, uh, there is a lot to like about this phone. So we obviously know a lot about the phone, a few things we don't know. We don't know what carrier they're going to launch with. We don't know when they're going to launch. What we do know, though, is what color they're going to cover when they're launched. Uh, they are going to ship in platinum silver or flamenco red, depending on whether you're feeling spicy or not. Anyway, what do you guys think about everything LG announced? I'm excited for the G Flex, so we'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Leave it in the comments in my pants region. Until next time, I am John Ranger from Techno Buffalo. See you guys next video. Bye-bye. This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by the all-new G Flex 2 from LG. Life's good. Thank you guys for checking out our CES 2015 coverage. If you want to see more, hit the big subscribe link down below.